Hey guys, we are back again. What day is it? I have no idea. I think it's Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. We had a crazy snowstorm yesterday and it was supposed to be my second day of training. I got all ready. It was a blizzard. I ran over there. Actually, my friend came and picked me up yesterday and I kind of got ready or whatever and went down there and I'm like, hey, look at how professional I am in my little shirt. And she's like, hmm, they must not really care over there because you're wearing a high V shirt. And I'm like, oh my God, the shirts are like the same. Um, so I had to have Josh come bring me my shirt down. And then when we went over to, <laughs> we went over to like where it is or whatever. And I'm like, okay, we sat outside for like 35 minutes. And we're just like talking. And I'm like, okay, bye. Thanks for the ride. And I got out and I walked up to like the back door and there's a bunch of guys standing out there and I'm like hi guys I'm like wait a minute this is not my place of employment and then they're like yeah that's not like anywhere close to here so I'm like chasing after my friend in the snowstorm because I didn't want to have to walk got all the way there rang the doorbell in the back like multiple times while it's like profusely snowing and like sleeting on me and they were closed so my friend actually ran around to the front because she was going to go in and get a job application. So I'm out in the back, like pressing the button a million times, run around finally through the snow. It's like, like almost knee high. And yeah, I like go like this. I'm like, I don't see anybody in there. There's a sign literally right there that says close, close for, for lunch. lunch. <laughs> I do believe that they closed all day yesterday. So I was a little upset. So I called my manager this morning. I'm like, Hey, I didn't get the memo that we were closed yesterday. And he's like, Oh, sorry. Um, but I was a little worried about it because I didn't want to miss my day of training because like bills need to be paid. Um, but he did say he's going to cut me loose so that tomorrow we're all good for being alone. And maybe tonight I get my own couple tables too. So that's exciting. So yeah, I just had to share that with you. I thought that was like, it was crazy so I did get the day off we went and hung out with my friend Carrie for a little while and just enjoyed the blizzard and now we have a bunch of snow which is crazy so we're back again with the health shot mm -hmm. I this didn't one makes sleep me nervous I didn't sleep last night so I'm doing the energy one I slept like two hours which why does that make you nervous because it's green what is it called it's detox. called detox it's spir spirulina and kiwi fruit so good so you it says all right, ready? Here, you hold it and I'll unscrew it for you. I did my keto this morning. I actually didn't drink all of it because it made my heart palpitate. One, two, three. Wow, that was the best one oh, so far. Oh, for fuck's sake. Wow, that was so oh, good. Oh, fuck. And this goes to show, don't judge a book by its cover because... I figured because it was green, it was going to taste nasty, but it was actually really, really Passion good. Passion fruit suck my butthole. <laughs> what is the one that you mm. did? Energy. It's fucking terrible. Passion fruit. What was in yours? I'm Pineapple sorry. and orange. Oh, see, that sounds really kiwi. good. Why was it green? Oh, the kiwi probably. I like kiwi. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we're just kind of figuring out stuff and um, looking for houses and getting on track with stuff, and we're excited about it. Saw some really cool houses today. Some, yeah, there's like a lot of really dope places around mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Granted, I really don't like the Quad Cities. We don't want to be here long, we'll but make we're the best of it while we are. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We absolutely are. We'll find a nice place. We're excited about it too. Oh, yeah, very. Um, oh my god, it's a long time coming. I mean, this room. Granted, this place is nice. Everybody's super cool. Nobody wants to be cooped up in a fucking room. And it's expensive. It's like $1,200 a month. Over. Yeah. Closer to 15 but yeah. I think um, with a little bit of elbow grease, we'll be into a place in no time. A yeah, house. For you sure. Know. Oh my gosh. Something we'll we can have Kingston back. All right. So we're going to do our better everyday workbook. Why don't you start? Okay. We're going to flip to a page. It says, how do you cope with feelings of overwhelm? Oh wow. So I I can I can this can manifest of multiple things inside me. Um I get quiet, I'll grind my teeth, um sometimes I'll get aggressive. Um sometimes I cry. Yeah. Um I think that when anybody feels overwhelmed, 
Uh, it's one of them desperate feelings that nobody wants to feel. Nobody wants to feel like that. Uh, and then my, my closest mechanism for that is anger because it's probably like my comfortable emotion, you know? Maybe it doesn't manifest out where I'm like mad or mean or whatever, but that's where the root of it is. Yeah, that's your comfort zone is anger. It's, it's my first secondary emotion, you know, like primary emotions and secondary emotion, you know? So it's anger is probably like the easiest one to go to rather than logic or, uh, I don't know, acceptance, whatever the fuck else might be there. Yeah. But, oh, I'm sorry, Bria, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Well, we're a work in progress. Sure. Sure. Communication is key. Reflect on a time when a relationship provided comfort and solace during a difficult period. The very first thing that just came to my mind was when Josh and I were at the emergency room. Mm -hmm. And I mm -hmm. was sicker than fuck. And I had had a series of like days of like not being able to breathe. I thought I was having a panic attack. It was crazy. It was cold. It was February. And we were kind of fighting, like not bad, but we were like fighting in the emergency room, like amongst ourselves. Just a little bicker. Just like bickering. Little bickering, yeah. And um, I was frustrated and whatever. I can't even remember what it's about. It doesn't matter. But as soon as the doctor came in, Josh is not one to ever really back down in a fight or whatever. He'll usually like fight it out. Um, or just like, I don't know. So when he heard the doctor said that I had COVID and he, he just looked at me because you guys, I get like severely sick, like bad, like hospitalized. He looked at me and he's like, listen, it's okay. I love you. I'm going to take care of you. Let's love each other. And, um, he did, he took care of me. We went and spent COVID at a super dope hotel and it had a hot tub in it and in our room and we spent like three or four days there recovering from COVID and got the best food and just like really, really loved each other. And that's one of those memories that will stay with me forever because usually COVID's a terrible time for me because I've been so fucking sick. And that time it was actually like enjoyable, even though we were just in bed ordering food, we were comfortable and we were loving each other. And it meant so much to me because I really get like every single symptom and I'm just not able to really take care of myself. And so that just showed me how much that he, he can be very selfless. You weren't going to put my baby on a ventilator. It was not going to happen. I was going to exhaust every effort and spend here. every fucking dollar I had if I had to. Yeah. Um, but I was not letting you get put he on a ventilator. You spoiled me. I was scared. Yeah, I, was I wasn't scared. doing good at all. No, it was a multiple day. Mm -hmm leading into that was a stretched out panic attack because you couldn't breathe but it was because you had covid and we didn't know that you had covid yeah here i thought i was just having because i like have really bad anxiety like really mm -hmm. bad like convinced she's gonna die right now Pulse well socks, not weird. only not only that but like i have pill anxiety i have symptomatic anxiety and i my face will go numb and then my lips push together like this <laughs> and my hands do this and it's involuntary like it just is it's like okay we're gonna go there and i'm like i can't rip gosh Get away from the paw pocks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking quacked out. Um, you, I was just thinking you haven't had a pulse ox on your finger outside of the hospital in months. It's been almost a year. It was a it was a staple in your life when I very first met you. Like yeah, it, I was so I had fucking to anxious. have one of those within my reach, like I did a vape. Yeah, I was so anxious in Green Bay that like I had it on twenty four seven because I just hated my life so much. You haven't touched those motherfucking thing since it, it's been. It's been since like May, I think. For sure. So, yeah, I'm doing better. You are. Much. It's just as different. It's a different stress. I don't know. I had a th I had a thought actually on my way and my 5 a.m. trip to High V last week, just like a fleeting thought, and it was that. Okay, this doesn't come across like I don't give a fuck what you think, but it's the truth. I really don't. <laughs> um, but anxiety and depression mental illness, whatever it might be, hits you no matter what, regardless of whether or not you want it to, you can't help it most of the time. So it's true though, sometimes when we lead a more privileged lifestyle, we have a little bit more time to think about anxiety. So I do, even though it's very, very real and my panic attacks are crazy, 
while I was in Green Bay, I had a lot more time to sit and think about it though because my mind wasn't as busy because I didn't really have to do as much and I, I could just like segregate myself 100% where right now, right here, I'm going, I'm in the world, I'm doing the things and it's actually a lot healthier for my brain because I'm keeping it busy, I'm nurturing myself, learning things out, out in the world. And I just kind of had that thought. It's like, I haven't had my Clonopin in a long time, even though I'm prescribed it. Um, and usually I like to just have it because just having it makes me feel better. Um, and I'm really doing well, even though life is like extremely stressful. We just, we're pretty good at, at taking it one day at a time and, and taking things as they come. This week has been a little bit harder for me mentally. I just have, I think all the things are just coming to a head for me. And I've had a couple little breakdowns, um, which I'm not like proud of, but um, I was kind of mean to Josh last night, but I'm honest about it. I just feel like, and he didn't deserve it. And I love him so much. He was like really sweet to me all day. Um, and I just like took my anger out on him. I'm just frustrated with like a lot of things and um, there's no excuse for acting out like that. I usually really like to communicate and get things out but like I said there's just like a million things going on but regardless it's never okay to act out it's never okay to be immature about stuff and so for that I said I would sorry a million times mm -hmm. um but we're human and we're working on stuff but for the most part for the most part we're things are actually really looking up yeah I found out today yeah I found out today that I didn't ever well obviously you need to pay your fines guys pay your <laughs> fines get right with the good lord jesus and the government but um apparently i thought yesterday was my pay up here in galena so i was like nervous about it i'm like how do i get there and have a car all the things like uh and we had fucking this summer we had rented whatever it was to get there to make sure i got to fucking court for it the pay up here She's like, there's nothing that they will they will do. Actually, your pay review was Monday, so it wasn't yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. I'm like, oh, it was a snowstorm day. And she's like, all that they'll do is send it to collections. I'm like, so there's not a warrant for my arrest? <laughs> there isn't one? <laughs> Thank you. Freedom. Ah. Freedom. Um, obviously, you paid the fine. She's like, no, but if by the end of the month, she's like, either pay more next month or whatever, but it'll just go to collections, which I don't want. I'm trying to get things, like, actually legit because... You know who knows what we might need in the in the future with credit and whatever although like i said i'm really excited right now because like our car accident stuff is going to come to an end here shortly i need to file my taxes i do have money coming i never got all my like covid stuff everybody got all that money and i just like i'm too i'm too lazy to do stuff like that like that's i have a mental block like if i make the appointment i'm probably not gonna go and it took me five months to make the appointment you know what i mean like i have a block and I'm really trying to work on that kind of stuff, but that's where the next Suburban's coming from. That little chunk of change and things are coming, things are coming up. So we're doing good. Yeah, we're in progress. We're Do doing it. Anything you want to add to our no, you, daily vlog? You put a good cap on it. I'm ready. All right, guys. Next time. So yeah, I love you guys. And until next time, pay your fines. Pay your fines. <laughs>